this time on The Paddock. After dreaming about racing professionally their entire lives, Michael and Nate meet their race cars for the first time. Oh, I see some flux. Oh, shit. Um, there's one. If you want me to be excited, you gotta put me in front of a car. I'll get you excited about it. So I hate to do this, but I have to break character for a second. Mike Rizzelli, content director for FCPR, always behind the camera, now I'm in front of it. In front of it because that was the lamest reaction of a dream come true I have ever seen in my entire life. Michael and Nate did nothing. No smiles, no laughs, just blank stares the whole time. And I don't think that they did that because they're not excited. I think that they did that because this is a whole lot to process. Our C300 that was there, our CEO is there. I just think it's it's the culmination of the last two years and for the two of them, an entire lifetime of dreams literally come true in that exact moment. And you just get a do not compute from both of them. Did you ever think that you'd be in that seat? I feel like I had to explain that because that was the lamest thing I've ever seen in terms of a reaction. Hi. Sleep well. You have a fun time tomorrow. With you. What, what's going through your head? I'm starting to feel like the hours and hours and hours and hours we've spent in garages and at autocrosses and at ice races and at track days and at lugging things around for AR and this is this is a dream come true. This is El Jefe, the boss. Hello. Tip our Heinlein. 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 Tip, what do you do here? Well, I, I hopefully I don't do anything. I, let, <laughs> I bring together everybody to do something. <laughs> and all day and I'm just pointing. So, tomorrow morning we'll be here at 7. Put them up. We'll run through the gearbox before we go out. Warm up the cars. You're going to have to do seats in the morning. Yeah. And we're going to be putting exact fuel amounts in there so we get fuel calculation also. The cars always should be back then. Never all over the place, just everything looks the same. Never out of place. You've had these in your possession for how long now? Yes, we had them for many hours, probably nine hours at this point. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Uh, it was a good push today to get everything ready. Yeah, let's grab a seat in the car and go to sleep. Thank you. Please make your way down to the pit lane, and we'll get you on the hot track in just a second. Here we are, first test with the new TCR cars, you can see in the background here. Um, 72 My Car is getting stickered up. Right now we're putting some sponsored decals on it for some pre testing. Hey Scott, what's happening right now? We're updating our dashes to the newest configuration sent to us by Volkswagen Motorsports. So can I ask uh, what you're doing? I'm trying to get the radios uh, to make sure that they can talk and complain. <laughs> Jason, what are you doing right now? Uh, so, just got to get the radio harness in for Michael so he can, like, cry to me when something's wrong and I can hear him. Doesn't need to have to listen, but I'll hear him. So, what do you got going on? I uh, am rerouting the radio wires. How much fuel are we putting in the cars? 70 pounds. And why are we weighing it out? Uh, it's a German fuel consumption. And so. can you introduce yourself and say your title for the team? <laughs> My title? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't really think I have a title right now. Uh, I don't have a title on the team. Right now I'm the fuel guy. So I can be a car detailer, I can be whatever you want me to be. We're probably going to be out on track and I would say probably about 10, 15 minutes at this point. So we're going to go out do two laps, uh, bed the brakes in, just kind of feel everything out, see how, how it goes. and bring it back in, they're going to put some slicks on, and then we're going to go out and do some actual testing. Yeah, that, I'm not really sure. On uh, the first couple laps, we're not looking to learn anything other than some driver comfort. Make sure they're comfortable with the way the brake pedal feels, the way the car steers, keep the thing out of the gravel traps. Uh, we're going to roll out on some rubber that we won't actually ever race on, just to do a shakedown, check for leaks, make sure the car is safe and sound, and then we'll actually start into a test plan once we're comfortable, which probably won't be a little tough in there. Can I drive now? I want to go drive. Can I go drive? So we'll take it back, put the slicks on. We'll decide if you want to go straight back out or you want to give it some time. That's track, that's track. No man's land right now. 
right now. It's sort of really green and damp in places. So I don't think you're gonna learn a whole lot until it dries some more. You're gonna learn how scary it is and cold slicks. So first session's done for the day. How'd it go? Pretty well. Pretty well. Check out it. Yeah. No, no, no one crashed. That's good. Yeah, that's a good thing. That would be terrible. You guys are getting acclimated to their cars. I think. Uh, I think they're pretty happy. They're all smiles, from what I can tell. It's like it's like getting a new phone. It's like it just you just have to spend time playing with it to start to utilize its features, and that's that's where that's where we're at this morning. Now we kind of know what features work for us, what features don't, and it's time to start becoming better at using those. Next time on the paddock. Speechless. I can't say enough. I just I can't wait to see these things on the track. <laughs> Our company sees the race cars for the first time. They're beautiful, man. Absolutely phenomenal. Can't wait to see these things in action. Really excited. Represent the company. This is what we do, people. This is what we do. I did always got the red. Do you see this? Come on, Mike.